<laughs> All right, hello and welcome back to a software engineer plays back in uh, TIS 100 here um, I need my manual because that's the kind of game this is All right manuals open on the other monitor and we are jumping into the signal comparator So read a value in Okay, write one if it's greater than zero. Okay, so basically we need to send the number down here and then only output if it is um, greater than or equal to zero. So let's take a look at the manual here. Um, See what we got. I know we got the um, bum bum bum. We have the jump commands. J jump um, jump equals zero. Jump not zero and jump greater than zero and jump less than zero. So. Um, we got a couple of things to do here. First of all, we want to move from up, down, move from up, down, move from up to the right. Now, G is greater than zero. So, um, jump greater than zero to out. Yes. Otherwise, move um, left to right, out, move. Oh, well, you know, we're going to have to store it in the accumulator, I think. Yeah, and that's OK. So um, OK, so we want to move left to the accumulator. Otherwise, we move accumulator to the right. Otherwise, we out. OK, so if it's equal to 0, basically, we want to copy and paste this. Um, except we don't need all of this extra code here, because we can just move it down, because we'll know once we get to this point, it's got to be less than 0. So greater than 0, move out, out greater than, uh, less than zero, or equal to, sorry, jump equal to zero, out. Okay, so this should work. Um, we're moving two down, two across. Okay, so it is greater than zero, so we will output uh, two, which is incorrect. We want to output um, a one. So I think we can just put the... Um, the number one in the code like this. Um, but we have a problem now. We do actually want to do this conditionally. Um, so move left into the accumulator and then jump less than zero to out, out. I don't know if there's a way to end. Um, can we end the... I'm afraid that... Um... Oh, maybe it's not a big deal. Oops. So what happened there? Uh, we get a, ah, okay. So I missed this last section here. When a one is not written to an output, write a zero instead. So we do still, we, we want to um, move the accumulator to the right. 
either way. The question is, um, I'm a little bit concerned that we'll Get our two. We're going to move two across. Because two is greater than zero, we're going to output one there. But we're not outputting the zeros yet. So. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's think here. Um, what can we do? What indeed? Um, so, basically, let's go ahead and start fresh. We do need to get our number moving in. So we want to move left into the accumulator. Now, if it is greater than zero, we want to go to out one. Okay, otherwise, we want to um, move zero down, and then we want to jump. Uh, Go right. Go right. Move accumulator to the right. Okay, so this will take this, store it in the accumulator. If it's zero or greater than zero, we will output one and then we'll run straight into here. Otherwise, we will output zero and then move across. So we can copy this straight across, but this one we want to put a jump equal to zero. And this one we want to put a jump less than zero. So this should now work. We're going to move that two down. Two is greater than zero, so we are going to move to out one. We output a one, and then we move the two across. And then that's going to output a zero and we move the two across, it's gonna output a zero. So that worked as expected, and we can run through it, and we need to put a uh, jump start at the top because we got the end of these little blocks and nothing happened. So we will jump up to the start. And that should then work. All right. No. Why not? I think we need to... Can we delete our accumulator somehow? Because we're not... Um... Oh, of course, <laughs> this guy cannot move anything to the right, so that was dumb. There we go. That should now work. So the two is going to go all the way across, get to there. We're going to output a zero and then jump back to the start. There we go.
not necessarily the fastest, but it is fun to watch it go through. I don't know if we need to jump start, um, honestly. Um, how do we do? Uh, 321. Uh, six nodes and 23 instructions. So let's see if we can cut down on that. Oops, I don't think we need this jump start because they should just loop by themselves. This one on the other hand, um, yeah, we don't need that one there. Uh, we do need that. So this should work, I think. Yes. Okay, so we are a little bit less now on cycles, but we're still not at the top of my leaderboard of my friends, so let's see. We have to shave off five cycles. Um, which... We may be able to do just by... I don't know if this is actually going to save. If we... Um, see what I'm getting at here. But now we may need to jump back to the start. Let's see. 284. Okay, so that was actually slower than the last time. <laughs> Where can we speed this up? I mean, ideally, we wouldn't have to move all of this stuff around, but... Um, greater than zero. Oh, maybe... Maybe if I... I mean, we're going to have to go right anyway, right? So that will let these guys start working faster. And then let's just jump to the start here. So I think these now will stop, will not be waiting so long. They can start working right away. Right. And that now should be a little bit faster because if we look, let's look. The two's gonna come in and we're gonna move it across right away. So that now this guy can start working while this guy's doing his stuff. So we're gonna, yeah, that is going faster. Down to 278. And at the top of the leaderboards. So I'm happy with that. Also, I'm happy with the length of this video, so I will say thank you very much for watching. This has been a Software Engineer Plays. If you enjoyed the content, uh, watching uh, the assembly code here execute and listening to me think through the process and write out the code, then please like the video, subscribe for more, ring the notification bell, uh, tell a friend, why not? And I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks again. Bye.